Lesser throughout this partnership and works is just a little too full and a little on the pads and Campbell won't miss out. This is how he plays. He's so unassuming. Gale finally getting into his stride. More sixes in international cricket across all formats now. Going past Shai Afridi of Pakistan. And believe it or not, his first boundary of the day. It's been a long time coming. Not out of the middle of the bat either, but that's the power of Chris Gale. Beautiful. Beautiful from Shea Hope. A clang on to the roof of our, our media centre. That is some hit. That is a huge hit. That is just above us, that is. We must be at least five or six storeys up. This has gone a long way. Look at the follow-through, the flourish. And the female game. That's teed off and that's gone. Starting to get into his stride. How easy was that? Was that the universe boss? Watch his reaction as it hits the middle of the bat. He doesn't even look really where it went. He just hit it, turned around, started to mark his guard. Come on. There she goes. Similar style, similar bowler. Chris Gale, there's no stopping this man when he hits it. That's in the jerk chicken shed. And he's not in this ground. Gonna have a break here, he's it. This a long way. <laughs> we'll see you later. Goes high, goes hard, and goes for six. Oh, they're doing well in the chicken shack. That's over towards the port again. Length ball from Plunkett. Slow ball off cutter. It's right in the slot. This one. High up, further. Typical of Chris Gale. It's a length ball again. We're doing a roaring trade in the chicken shack. Jerk chicken, rotis, it's an off cutter, it's right in the slot. Well, he gets it completely wrong. It's going to be a no ball for height. What are you going to do now, Guffy? <laughs> Surrender. Get the white flag out. It's a free but you wouldn't have bowled that, would you? You'd have been outside off stump. Oh, oh it's another big one. It's not going to be... Uh, yes, it is. It is going to be out of the ground again. I think that's the fourth of the game so far. Free hit, easily dispatched this time uh, by Chris Gale. 81, he moves on to. New balls. Can I just ask, we've just been talking to Chris Gale about when you bowl to Chris Gale, you cannot bowl at the stumps and length, because that's where it, exactly at this stage of the innings he wants you to bowl it. It's just a free, it was a free hit, but that he just gave him an absolute bonus ball there. That's right in Chris Gale's heart. So is that just pressure? That's exactly what he does. He bowls at the stumps and uh, another dispatch. This time not out of the ground, but Hetmeyer is very quickly into his work. He's on 10 from just three deliveries, a couple of boundaries. He really got hold of this, didn't he? Well, treated with uh, disdain. Middle of the bat again from uh, Chris Gale. He just uh, stepped down a couple of times and spotted it over mid-wicket. Well, I think he's trying to get him to hit it, to hit with the angle into the wind. Because if he mistimes it, then th there's an opportunity there. He's a big, strong man. Oh, oh it's gone up 
a long way. That will take some catching. Not quite. It goes all the way for six. There were three men going back. Josh Butler, one of them. Jason Roy, the other. Well, he really went after this, Chris Gill. Was it went way up in the air. Well, who said you have to have a look at a ball? Those days are well and truly gone. That is gone a long way high into the wind. It didn't matter. That's how you get off the marking start. Wasn't in the best of form in the recent test series, but he's a class player, Darren Bravo. Maybe the confidence of a Chris Gale on the other end. Oh, that sounded good. Real flick of the wrist through the ball as well. Brings up the 250 for the West Indies. And a good shot up. Well, that's in the slot again. He doesn't move after hitting that. Same response towards Moin Ali. He picked his spot. It was full, it was flighted. Didn't look to go leg side, went straight over long off. Oh, that's big. He really launched into that as well. This time he goes on to the leg side. He's taking a hit from Chris Gale. And at this stage of his innings, he's seeing it well. Oh, that's hit hard again. You can just hear the sound of it on the middle of the bat. Now I'll be careful in the crowd. It's going pretty flat and pretty long as well. Six hitting becoming contagious for the West Indies. Chris Gale leading the pack. And his lesser partner, Darren Bravo, falling suit as well. Oh, and again, stands and admires that. This is brutal batting. Another massive hit. Nine overs are remaining in the innings. And if they continue in this vein, well, 350 plus, definitely. Now he's cleared that one quite easily. 302, 300 is up, 302 for five. 19-6 of the innings. Oh, he's hit this onto the beach, it's a googly again, but it's too short. And got the time just to move back into his crease and extend his arms. Forget the breeze. That's into the sand. A real muscle player, Ashley Nurse. Just have a good look at it and hit it for six. That's caught in the crowd. Just watch this lad catch this. Enough on it. Yes, enough on it. Pretty good, Ashley knows that playing these little cameos. Well, he sure is. These are big blows. 15 from this over so far. And it's a high flighty, loopy leg spinner. Come on, put me out of my misery. Who is it? Santa Jasseria. Magnificent shot from Bishu. Equals the world record for the most sixes in an innings. 22 hits so far. What a brilliant shot this is. It's outrageous. I've said it so many times. That's on the breeze. Resounding way to end the innings from Ashley Nurse. 23 sixes in the innings to the joy and delight of most 
here at Kensington Oval. Chris Gale will hold the spotlight with his marvellous hundred. Well, what an end. Nurse crashing this to the Hall and Griffiths stand. And it hits the stand and it's still rising. 21 fours, 23 sixes.